What is casual lineage? What is the significance of casual lineage? In 7th, 8th century, uh, the king of Tibet brought uh, uh, some great masters of India, like Shantarakshita, Guru Padma Sambhava, uh, Bhimala Mitra, and all these very great masters, and uh, established Buddhism in, in Tibet. And that tradition, or that school of Buddhism, is called Nyingma. Uh, then, later on, uh, you know, uh, Marpa, uh, one person called Marpa, mm, he went to India and studied in India in Nalanda University under Naropa and many, uh, you know, uh, many great masters. Uh, and then he came back to Tibet and he he taught, and he was also a great translator. So, his the the tradition or the the lineage or the you know the teachings that uh, that uh, uh, came from him uh, became Gajju school. Mm -hmm. uh, the basic teachings there is no difference; you know, it's all same. The sutra, you know, but. There's some specific teachings he brought. And anyway, that lineage become Gaju. And around the same time, you know, uh, some great master called, you know, uh, they, they built a, a monastery in a, in a place called Sakya. And that became Sakya school, you know, this and then many great, you know, translators and were also there around the, uh, that time. Uh, some even uh, teacher of Malpa. So that became Sakya school. That's another, you know, school. Then later on, uh, there, at that time there was also, you know, uh, Atish Dipankara came and, you know, uh, which, called, which was called Kadampa. But then later on, one great master called Tsongkhapa came, and he became a very, um, very popular teacher, and he kind of uh, started another school of Buddhism called Geluk. So, in Tibet, basically, you know, most of the uh, Buddhists uh, belong to uh, either this, other four of them. Then there are some others also, but uh, majority. Uh, so therefore, you know, Kaju is one of the uh, main uh, schools of Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, it is um, uh, just that, you know, it's not, uh, it's not totally different. It's a uh, uh, it practices, you know, in Buddhism, in Tibet, all schools practice uh, Vinaya, you know, be, that means like monks and nuns, like uh, like Shravakayana, uh, monks and nuns, all schools have Vinaya, monks, nuns also. All schools uh, practice Bodhisattvayana, uh, become Bodhisattvas, that's a main practice, all same, exactly, no, these two, Vinaya, Bodhisattva, Mahayana, no problem, no, no difference actually. Then all schools practice Vajrayana and Vajrayana also, you know, highest level of Vajrayana or all different levels of Vajrayana, no difference. But there are slight, you know, slight uh, differences of the lineage and things like that, like uh, Kaju, uh, Marpa brought it himself from India, uh, from Naropa and Metripa and things like that. So then, you know, that's a, there's a kind of different lineage. Uh, then uh, Sakya, slightly different lineage, like that. And Geluk, you know, kind of uh, all these lineages, uh, kind of together. You know, this uh, the founder received teachings from all these lineages and also Kadamba, 
and then they became yellow. So it's uh, it's like that. Mm -hmm.